Good morning and happy Halloween. Welcome to the Good Witch for your Halloween pick a card reading. This is going to be a pick a card reading for the month of November. Or we'll see what Spirit says once the cards get down. Um, I want you to look at three skulls. You have your glitzy, glamorous, bedazzled skull. You have your smooth, sincere, royal, purple skull. You have your slightly tattered, a bit broken, highly decorated, almost Aztec skull with the koi fish on top and the yin and yang symbol on top. All beautiful, yet different. I want you to sit for a minute and decide which one resonates with you. And I want you to pick one. And that is going to be your reading for the month of November as far as the pick card readings go. If more than one resonates with you, I want you to pick that one as well. And if you're not sure, then go ahead and listen to all three and see which one resonates with you that way. The cards have already been meditated over. I've been up for about an hour and a half meditating on your cards. Asking spirit to guide and beseech you and tell you where you should go and what you should do. Making sure that you get the message that you need. Halloween morning and it's extremely windy outside. Okay. So we're going to start with our skull number 1. This October the 31st, 2019. Let me take a sip of my tea. Hopefully my cat doesn't come over here, but normally with this much fire, he doesn't. My little familiar jumps in front of everything. So we're going to start from the bottom. You have the Queen of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Six of Cups. We're going to talk a little bit about your throat chakra. And I'm going to leave this one for last. So, okay. So for those of you who pick my number one, I'm hearing, I pray for increase. And they're coming. You have a lot of sixes in your reading, which is good luck on this end. I don't know what lies you've been told about that number, but it's a beautiful number. I see you cutting off people. I actually, I'm lying. You're not cutting off people. You're cutting off thoughts and ideals that have been holding you captive. You are, the month of November is an increase month for you. Your territory is being enlarged. You're getting more than what you asked for. You're getting what you asked for in a most, in a most unconventional way. You asked for stability and instead you're getting pleasure. You tried to cut people off that are staying around. You don't really understand what's happening, but you know that it feels good. And some of your throat chakras are bound, and that's intentionally by spirit because you tend to talk too much and mess up things. That was for somebody specific. I'm not sure who, but you know it's you when you hear it. Stop telling everybody everything. 
they don't need to know your next move and they also don't need to know how you feel about every single thing that's going on. Because trust me, people use it for a sense of entertainment and not for and not for you know growth or whatever it is you think they're using it for, but a lot of them use it for a sense of entertainment. You also are in front of the centering stone that I have laid out. You're doing a lot of personal healing by cutting off these thoughts. Some of you were under the misconception that you were weak. Someone was fooling you into believing that they were doing things for you that they actually weren't. You're actually doing these things for yourself. Your manifestation capab capabilities are off the chain. Well, they could be. They've actually been on a chain and it's time that you take them off. That is for my number ones. You're going to have to let go of the idea that you're weak. But your increase is coming in the month of November. I see around the end of November your throat chakra beginning to release a little bit. But you won't have a very talkative month this month. You won't be letting people in like you used to. And that's a good thing. You need to learn more about you. The real you. Not the you that people told you you were. This happens once every blue moon. If you look at the blue throat chakra card, you have a lot of blue here. So you'll be feeling a lot of emotions. You need to believe in the impossible. In order for you to manifest your reality, you have to believe in your reality. So... You need to believe in yourself, cut off those negative thoughts that tell you you're not enough, and believe in the impossible. Okay? So that's for our number ones. I think I'm going to have to make this two videos, but we'll see. For our number twos, my people who picked the, the purple skull. Isn't he gorgeous? The purple skull. Everything you do right now is amplified times 10. You have the five of swords. Oh, you have the blank beginnings. You have the nine of wands. And you got flow. So, most of you know I'm different than most tarot readers. Every card, everything has a meaning. So this month is going to be a difficult one for you. You'll go through a lot of tests. You'll feel, you feel slightly unstable, like you have a completely new beginning. It's almost as if the universe and the powers that be are wiping your slate completely clean. And you feel tired and broken. You feel defeated. You feel unstable and lost. But you can't build a new home on top of a demolished one. So everything must be cleared. And that's what you're going through. I know it hurts and you feel like you're losing everything but you're not well you are but only so that you can gain more that's tough but we all go through it and sometimes the hardest person to defeat is ourselves we don't stay defeated Okay, so you're wiping your slate clean, and what comes next is completely up to you. You have the power of creation in your hand, but if you dwell in this sense of defeat, you're going to create nothing but sadness and sorrow. So I suggest, if you're reading this, you got your confirmation, you got your knowing that, yes, 
it's time for it to be wiped clean. Yes, you feel empty, but it's so you can create a new beginning. You're creating a new beginning whether you do it willingly, intentionally or not. So I suggest you put your intentions behind it and create a great one, okay? No time to sit around and feel sorry for yourself. You're stronger than that. Because right after you get your slate, your defeated and everything breaks and then everything goes blank you show up with your strength and you're going to need it but while you're going through and making sure that you're putting your intentions behind what you want you want to make sure you stay in flow don't go against the universe don't try to put together things that have been broken apart if everything broke apart don't try to put it back together in the exact same way. It's going to break again. And you can put it back together. Put it back together in a brand new way. Okay? Some of you might, some of you who got the purple school might really need a personal reading. And I suggest you reach out to me on my website, thegoodwitch.com. Or even email me at thegoodwitch at gmail.com. Now, I'm not taking on any more spiritual clients until the next full moon. But go ahead and reach out so you can go ahead and get on that list because those slots fill up quickly. <laughs> okay, so this is a void of course moon for your moon card. And you see how even the card it has been wiped clean. There is a moon, but it's pushed very far back. And that's for those of you who are trying to rebuild the same situation. Nothing will come of this situation. It's gone. It's gone for a purpose. Stop trying to put it back. Build something new. Build something great. You have the opportunity. Let's say, I'm going to give you another example. Let's say you have $50. And you're excited to have $50 because $50 is a lot of money. You... Think you're gonna go gamble with the fifty dollars and come back with five million, right? You get there within five minutes, you lose fifty dollars, so you have no more dollars. Slate's wiped clean, okay? And then somebody offers you a job where you have the opportunity to make five hundred dollars. Spirit is telling you, don't take that job. Work just enough time to make that fifty dollars back and do it again. Go back and gamble it and lose that $50. Work it out. Stay for that $500. Maybe even get a promotion and get $5,000 and work your way up to $5 million. Stop trying to gamble and rebuild nothing from something from nothing. Nothing from nothing is nothing, and that's what you're going to come up with if you keep trying to do the same thing. Y'all going to make me fuss at y'all. I don't, I don't talk to y'all no more right now. Do better. Okay, so, I feel bad because I didn't pick up the first goal. I'll pick you up later. Those of you who resonated with our tattered, more human-like skull with the yin and yang symbols and the koi fish, highly decorated, beautiful, yet broken skull. Okay, we'll sit up then. Okay, so for the month of November, y'all going to go through some things. Some of you are going to be lied to or you are being lied to currently. You feel, but you feel very powerful and you're very stable. You're not worried about the lives of others and you're focusing in on your wealth in the month of November. That's beautiful. And it says healing begins. That's your card. So you guys are going through things. But in the midst of going through things in your personal relationships, you're focusing on your financial relationships. So this is emotional. A couple of, you, couple of you, it might be something to do with work. Most of you, it's emotional. You're going through something where somebody is 
lying on you, cheating on you, trying to break you down emotionally. And I think it's a female. I know it's a female. Um, or someone with a female type energy. But you are powerful and you are creating and you are producing more than you have ever done. Even if it's not manifested itself yet, you're working towards those goals that you had in November. And it's going to bring you wealth. You have the Ten of Coins, which is great wealth is coming towards you. Some of y'all might need to just, you know, drop me a PayPal at thegoodwitch.com. I'm just saying. Go get you a reading, get you some candles and oils and stuff. But you are... Some of it says you're ignoring the, the deceit. So I don't even think this person that's lying to you, you're not cutting them off. You're ignoring them, actually. You're letting them stay a part of your life, but you're not really dealing with them in the way that you were. You're learning to keep them with a long handled spoon because whatever purpose they serve, you still need it to attain your wealth, and you're just focused on that. Okay. You're taking time to heal from your bottom to your top. You're healing from your base to your heart. You're not in your third eye energy because you hadn't got there yet, but you are healing so that you can get there. And you have the disseminating moon. You want to take time to breathe out. Take the time to heal you. Okay. So you're focused so much on your wealth that you're ignoring your pain, which is fine. It's going to benefit you. But don't forget to take the time to heal. Take the time to breathe. Take some time for yourself, okay? But you are just, you're grinding all November. Fuck what you heard. Fuck what you thought. Fuck how you feel. I'm getting my money, and that's how you feel. You're not talking to people as much. You're not listening to people. You're just doing what's absolutely best for you in your house. When I say your house, I personally mean yourself, your temple, your body. So pay attention to which one resonates with you. Leave, Drop me a comment and let me know which one you picked below and if it resonated. And besides, you can't really say if it resonated yet because it's the future. November starts tomorrow. Happy Halloween, guys. I will be more active on this channel, but please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Tell everyone you know to subscribe. Um, I will get out November readings this week. Give me a general collective fairy card reading because I didn't pull fairy cards. And for some reason, my hand was guided. Okay, so third, the number 34 is relevant for the overall energy of November for the collective. Just ride the wave. Have fun. Enjoy life. Hold on to your bag. Don't be the person stuck in the window just looking out for their finances. And look out for your finances, but realize that that's not all there is to life. Enjoy the journey, okay? Some of you really need to just enjoy the journey. This is your November pick a card reading from The Good Witch. I look forward to your monthly reading. Some of you really do need to get personal readings, and some of you actually need spiritual consultations. And, you know, you might need me to fix a few things. I will be picking up new clients, like I said, around the the next full moon okay all right you guys be blessed be wonderful be love i will see you soon peace